Hi, CPA. Have you ever wondered what that GPA number is that you see on your transcript or grade report? Well, GPA stands for a grade point average. It's a scale that goes from zero to four, and it represents the progress that you make in your classes over time. This GPA is a big factor in college admissions and scholarship eligibility. So how do you calculate your GPA? You're gonna need all of your courses. You can use your courses from just this semester if you want a GPA for only this semester. If you want a cumulative GPA that shows all of the courses that you've previously taken, you could add those together as well. For each course, you'll need to have the credits. At CPA, each credit is worth, or I'm sorry, each course is worth five credits per semester. So I'm gonna just go ahead and put in five credits for each course here, and then tally it up, we get 30, credits total for six classes taken in a semester. You will also need your letter grades. So this is just an example, so we're pretending here. Let's pretend that you have a B in world history, an A in English, a C plus in geometry, an A minus in biology, a B plus in New Testament survey, and an A in Spanish. So now you need the grade points. As CPA, we have a grade scale that you can see to the right of this video, which tells you how many grade points each letter is worth. So a B is worth three grade points or 3.00. I'm just gonna write the three though and not include the zeros. An A is worth four grade points. A C plus is worth 2.3 grade points. An A minus is 3.7. A B plus is 3.3. And an A is a 4.0 or a 4.00. So now what we need are the quality of the points. The quality points are the credits multiplied by the grade points. This will matter, especially if you ever take classes, for example, through dual enrollment that are worth different amounts of credits. So we're gonna multiply three times five, or I think five times three, we get 15. And here we have five times four, which is 20. 5 times 2.3, which is 11.5. 5 multiplied by 3.7 gives us 18.5. 5 multiplied by 3.3 gives us 16.5. And 5 multiplied by 4 again gives us 20. So now we need to tally these up, add them all together, and we're going to get 101.5. OK, so I'm going to scroll up a little bit. Now that we have our total amount of quality points earned and we have our total credits, we could use these two to determine the GPA. So we would take the total quality points, 101.5, and divide that by the total credits, which is 30, and we would get 3.38333 and so on. But I'm going to round this to the nearest two decimal places or two values after the decimal. 3.38 would be our GPA. So what does this tell you? This is higher than a B plus, but it's a little bit lower than an A minus. So a GPA of 3.38 means that you average between a B plus and an A minus as a letter grade. So not too bad. Um, so the highest somebody can get is a 4.0 at our school because our GPAs are unweighted. Um, the lowest somebody could get is a zero, but that's not a very good score because that means that everything is an F. So the higher the GPA, the better, but you just keep doing the best you can and uh, do everything you do with, for the glory of God.